Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. I know you already saw in the title what kind of a video this is, but yes, babes, I have done my fall wax cube shopping and there are some of these I 100% know I'm going to go back and buy at least one or two more because they're that fabulous. Um, but yeah, this is a big haul. There's a lot here, in my opinion. So I'm going to warn you. I don't have many locations to record videos on. Okay, this is just at my desk where I do uh, watching my laptop, editing videos, doing my makeup, do my hair. So I'm. Sur this is just like my general location, and the sun is starting to come in. And even when my blinds close, it's going to come in and start putting like dots on my face. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. I pre apologize. My dog's in the background. She is eating a bone, and um, you might hear her. So it's better than having her cry, which she will do. If you're not familiar with my channel, she will do the entire time I talk to you because she doesn't like me speaking to anybody but her because she's spoiled. So I've got her hopefully distracted long enough to let me make this long video and it's a long one. So um, the, we are focusing clearly only on the brand Better Homes and Gardens. I purchased all of these from Walmart. I do not know if you can buy them from anywhere else. I always go to Walmart and stock up there. This is my favorite time of year. I love fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it. To me, fall and autumn starts about the beginning of the third week of August and lasts until December 1st, in my mind. Okay? So, uh, I just love it. This is the perfect weather to go for walks because you can throw a sweatshirt on and not be sweaty because I'm a big girl and I don't like to be hot. Ever. So, this is like the perfect everything. So if so, uh -huh. um, I'm sorry if I keep saying it. Uh, I love Smell Be Goods. If you're new to my channel, I love anything uh, scented. So that means body sprays, perfumes, lotions, and house, home smelling things, which for me, I focus the most on wax cubes, but of course I purchase candles. And I won't go into the spiel. I just put in my um, sensationals. Um, video, but I focus on these two brands, Sensationals and Better Homes and Gardens. They are cheaper and they are better than the more expensive brands. And my example would be Yankee Candle. I'm sorry to throw you under the buff because, uh, buff. Yeah, I just said that. Sorry. I don't want to, you know, I continually throw Yankee under the bus. So I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to do it this video, but I'm just saying you get more bang for your buck by getting your $2 package of six. Okay. So, and they're strong scented and big throw. See, that's where the sun's going to hit me. So we're going to try to sit back. Okay, so first I'm going to start with returning scents. These are scents that were out last year, and um, yeah, I know for a fact they were because I still have them from last year. But I always stack up on two of these, and um, I liked these enough to purchase a second one, I guess. So first, I'll start with the big ones because they are the, the value pack, the pack of 12. You should, if it's a scent that you're going to buy more than one in, uh, why pay $4.00? Two, one package is two bucks. Why, why buy two at four dollars when you can buy the value pack if they make it for under four dollars? And it is. I think it's three. I think it's three eighty-seven. And if it's not, then it's three forty-seven. Either way, it's cheaper than four, right? Okay. So the first one I always get. This is more of a Christmas scent. It is. They always put limited edition, yet it comes back every winter. So explain that to me. Whatever. Uh, it's called Fresh Cut Fraser, and it is your typical what I would say your blue spruce slash uh, Frasier for whatever scent. It's not necessarily pine. It's definitely on the blue spruce fresh cut Frasier side of the house. But it's a Christmas tree scent in my eyes. So, like I said, I did another video. I love to have those type of scents around Christmas time. So I always stock up on these because once Christmas comes or once December hits, it's hard to get these. They sell out quick. Buy them now. Take my advice. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm obsessed with this crap. I'm the girl to come to when you want to talk about smell me goods. So there you go. We got that one. And uh, a returning fall favorite. Once again, they say it's limited edition. It comes back every year. Okay. Better Homes and Gardens. Got to work on that. But that's the only thing you need to work on because everything else is perfection. But it is the crisp fall leaf scent. If you are a Yankee Candle person, I can promise and guarantee this is the exact, exact dupe of Autumn Leaves by Yankee Candle. If you know what that scent is, 
Here it is for under $4. Two cubes is one tart. It's fabulous. It is, I can't describe the scent. And I, usually I come up with funny descriptions. I have one. I don't have one for you. Go, go to Yankee Candle and smell autumn leaves. That's what this is. Get this. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful scent. Okay? Just go get it. But anyways, that's a, re that's a returner. Another one that was out last year, but it's back again with the word tradition, is pumpkin marshmallow tapping. Hopefully, we need to get the sun off that. Can you see that? Is that better? Okay, this one smells exactly like it's described. Holy balls, am I bright? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, the sun's real. It's, I'm not, I shouldn't complain. The sun's out, but this smells. Like marshmallow, vanilla, pumpkin, with a drop of butterscotch. Get it. It's good. And it's a returner. Also out from last year is Better Homes and Gardens. Oh, wait. This whole video is Better Homes and Gardens. So why am I saying Better Homes and Gardens every time? Okay. Is lemon pumpkin shortbread. One thing maybe I had better correct myself on is, you know, when I, I say to you that they are limited edition, blah, 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 but they're big again. Maybe this is stock left over from last year, but not these two, honey. No, these because these come out year after year and sell out. So I know it's not overstock, but I'm dropping everything. Let's stop that. Okay. But maybe these little these little six pack ones, maybe they maybe they were out from overstock from last year. Okay, stop babbling. This one smells exactly like the description. It smells like lemon. Hint of cake batter, vanilla, and pumpkin. And it is fabulous, and I should have bought more. So I'll probably buy, I'll go back and buy another one of these. It smells good. It, 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 uh, a better, when I say lemon, I want to say to you a drop of Fruity Pebbles. Okay, I kind of like that. Equate it to that with pumpkin and cake batter. Lemon pumpkin shortbread. Okay. This, I think this was a spring and summer scent that they just forgot to take off the thing because they've kind of replaced everything with fall. Um, but I'm glad they left it because it was one that I wished I had gone back and bought another one of, so I grabbed it this time. So because I bought it, I'm like, I'm going to throw it in the video. And it is the Sweet Blackberry Bourbon. And to me, I smell grape bourbon. And berries but berries on the blackberry side of the house but not just blackberry i smell great and it's a fabulosity with a hint of blueberry and if you didn't know i'm a blueberry lover which you will see later on another one that i know i saw i thought i did anyways last year it is first woodland frost but it says limited edition on it and to me it is beautiful outdoor air. It's definitely, I would say snow has fallen and it's got a touch of peppermint and spearmint with a couple droplets of berries on it. That's what I smell. It's good. Okay. Those are the returning favorites. What I'm calling the returning favorite. Now let's get on to what I believe is all new stuff. If by any chance, your Walmart had any of these scents last year? Okay. I don't think mine did. So they're all new to me. And they all say limited edition. But again, again, we've learned that doesn't mean much, right? So they're new to me. I've never seen these before. And I obsessively walk up and down that aisle and look for stuff to buy. Because it's cheap and they smell good. So we'll start out with Harvest Pumpkin Peach. And this smells... Pumpkin pie with peach, cinnamon, nutmeg, and one drop of crisp fall leaves mixed in with it. It's fabulous. It is fabulosity. I keep telling myself I'm going to put these back in a bag as I talk about them, so let me do that. Next is Midnight Pumpkin Patch. 
and this smells to me literally like pumpkin pie just it just sounds like pumpkin pie to me not sure where the midnight comes in there might be a drop of like men's cologne which would equate to that midnight smell in it but it would be just a drop i actually smell vanilla in it too it's good you're gonna see a lot of pumpkin related scents here i have a feeling so oh no we have a visitor hi hi let's see how long she lets me do this for okay next scent is vanilla oh honey vanilla chai hold on we'll come back to that what are you doing you go lay down. She's not gonna let me finish this video. Let's let's try to let's soldier on here with the sun beaming on my face. Okay, honey vanilla chai. Right off the top, you smell honey vanilla and chai slash like a a spicy tea. But there is pumpkin in this baby. I smell pumpkin for sure, and it's it's fabulous. Okay. Next up, we have harvest apple picking. Oh my lord! Oh baby, I smell. All different apples. Maybe a, maybe heavier in the Macintosh. It sounds like a like a candied apple to me. Like candy apple with with one drop of vanilla. It smells nice. I love apple scents too. Is the sun annoying you yet? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, next is like I said, all of these say limited edition. So this one is creamy apple cider. I smell apple cider. I smell, I smell a little bit of marshmallow cream and a little bit of pumpkin. It's fabulous. I'm going to say that for every scent, but it's good. Creamy apple cider. Next is banana pumpkin bread. I definitely smell the pumpkin. I smell like cake batter and just a little bit of banana. It's not really heavy in banana. What do you think, folks? Sweet though it smells like something baking that's what i smell just or not i wish it was more heavy in banana i'm not gonna lie but it was nice enough that i decided to buy it anyway next is farmhouse pumpkin patch i love the pictures on the front of these first of all but anyway that's besides the point i just think they do a good job for the price these are they they give a great presentation a great throw it's just more oh it's awesome anyway okay so let's just get back to business Right off the top, obviously, pumpkin, drop of vanilla, drop of cinnamon, and nutmeg. Farmhouse pumpkin patch. Guys, get out there and get these before these go bye-bye. Okay, these last four are my number one favorites from the new things that were put out this season. They are the top dogs. Two of them that I saved for last are, in my opinion, more for the Christmas season. But I'm glad they put them out now because I stocked up. I'm not going to lie to you. And then the, the very next one, no, the next one I bought, I'm stuttering. These last four are my favorites, like I just said. And they are the ones that I actually bought multiples of. And one, I bought out the whole row of it but you'll see that in a second. So this one, I bought at least four of them and it's called Apple and Oak. Yep. 
you absolutely smell apple cider oak like an oak tree it is an outdoors you're in the you're in the foot of like I don't know if I've used it in this video but like scooping up leaves and going like that to them it is that it is wood wooded woodsy being out in the forest hint of Christmas tree in it it's so good oh my god you guys you need to get this okay and I'm gonna have this response to the next three cents as well this is awesome 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 get it now watch you go there and not like it but anyway <laughs> okay this one is my last fall related one sorry about the glare on my face I'm sorry um this is my absolute favorite if you don't know already I love blueberry scented anything so I knew I knew I was gonna like this one moment so I'm not gonna lie I bought like I think there's like 12 and I think 10 to 12 in a row I bought the whole thing and there was like three left in the next one or other way around I bought them all because I know I will I will be using this one a lot I am a blueberry fiend so this one is called peach blueberry crisp you will not be going to the new Hartford Walmart and buying this one anytime soon because I bought them all anyway <laughs> you guys one drop of peach blueberry heaven I mean you definitely obviously you smell the blueberry crisp you smell vanilla you smell two drops of marshmallow it is I love it if you're a blueberry girl if you love blueberry you're gonna want this one don't be afraid of the word peach because the this is predominantly blueberry crisp oh my god I just I cannot even wait I'm not going to lie. I know that when I go back to Walmart, I'm going to go back to that aisle and see if they have any more. And I'm, I'm going to buy them because that's what I do when I get obsessed. Ultimate favorites. Why I saved it towards the last. My last two cents are Christmassy scents, in my opinion. They're great. You should get them. And one of them I bought like five or six of as well. So we'll start first with Frosted Winter Flurries. Trying to get the glare off so you can see it properly. You guys. I want to say, yes, you saw me purchase in the, my Sensationals video. They're perfectly pine. And you saw this fresh cut Fraser. You, this is significantly, like, in my opinion, diverse enough for you to buy an additional to those. Because it, it is that Christmas tree scent. But it's like there's a there's a drop of being outdoors, like that winter cold snowy air, boom with Christmas tree. It's so good. It reminds me of like sparkling. I don't even know if they still make this. Yankee Candle used to make one called sparkling snow, and a sparkling angel, and it smells like a mix of them two together. It's so nice. I think some people would say there's like a cit citrusy tone to it. Just droplets, just droplets. It's just, it's so good. Get it if you're into Christmas tree scents on that side of the house, which I am wearing a Christmas shirt. By the way. <laughs> okay, so my last scent of, scent of the day, no, my last scent is, it's, it's, don't be fooled by the name because I don't think the title of this one really justifies what you smell. Sorry about the light on my face. But it's so good. And the picture to me, like, is the wrong picture. I don't I don't know. It's just my opinion. But it's called Incense and Evergreen. Now you see like the little Christmas branch, Christmas tree branch, and I believe that cinnamon here. That is not what I smell. This is so damn good that I bought six or seven of these. I'll take back the part about the Christmas tree branch, but I'm saying it's like out of a hundred percent, it's 10% that you would smell the Christmas tree. 
it just smells like clean but not like that typical clean cotton fresh air type scent it's just clean and not soapy I don't smell incense at all I smell winter air winter snowy air mixed with walking in a forest but not obnoxious Christmas tree not heavy in that just being outside it's like a light crisp fall leaves that, like that scent it's like such a big mix but it's more like it's like 60% of crisp cold air mixed with the other little droplets of everything else if that makes sense it's just so it's an I, I've never smelled anything like it you might pick it up and smell or you've known something similar but I don't hold on yeah is it real time to go oh yes it is okay for what it's worth that was going to be the end of the video I just didn't get to say goodbye and thank you for watching and I would love for you to, to give me a like and subscribe um, I had to take my son to work and that's that's why there was a quick interruption at the end but that was the last scent that needed to be discussed anyway so that's all guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you again soon